Hello everybody and welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to use a Pilot Era to take pictures and record videos. All the things you need to do this are a Pilot Era and uh, nothing else because this camera allows you to do everything thanks to its built-in LCD screen. To enter the shooting mode you have to select the camera icon from the home and you will suddenly have the live preview in photo mode. Basically to take a picture you just have to tap on the shutter button on the screen or press one of the two shutter buttons on the side of the camera and that's enough. But let's go a bit deeper and take a look at the HUD. At the top we have GPS coordinates, HDR, which allows you to habilitate or not the bracketing HDR and select the type of lighting, or you can just simply leave it in automatic. And the view mode, which could be crystal ball, fisheye, tiny planet or equirectangular. At the bottom you can find the pro mode, the shooting modes, gallery, shutter button and the settings. One of the most important things that you have to keep in mind is the stitching reference that you can find in the pro settings. The stitching reference in camera called stitching focus is a reference in meters on which the camera focuses for the stitching. In few words you have to say to the camera how far are the main objects from her. To help the user for setting the reference on the screen you have the live preview on how would be the stitching with the actual reference and you can easily modify it using the bar. The other pro settings allow you to set manually the exposure time, ISO, the EV and the white balance. All the settings that you can use in particular conditions and of course if you know what you are doing because basically I want to be honest the most of the times you will shoot in automatic because automatic mode works very well and it takes great pictures so the most of the times you will shoot in automatic mode but for who want to try to set something manually there are also manual controls opening the settings you can find the resolution honestly i don't see a reason for which you should take pictures at a resolution lower than 8k countdown so you can have time to go away from the camera stitching flow and auto level which keeps the camera always leveled a couple of words about the stitching flow there are two ways to stitch the pictures real time and optical flow basically real time for outdoor environment and the optical floor for indoor environment you can change the stitching flow always before and after have taken the picture so you just take a picture go in the gallery watch it if you don't like the stitching just press the option button and change the stitching flow and see if it could be better if not you can even go back for the videos we have similar settings pro settings allow you to manually set iso ev and the stitching reference while in the settings there are resolution countdown and auto level Videos are divided in stitched and unstitched. Stitching video mode will allow you to record the video and while you are recording the camera stitch in real time the video that you are recording. So basically when you finish to record your video it's already stitched and ready to be shared and uh, viewed. The limit is the frame rate because if you record in a stitched mode 8K videos will have max 7 FPS, 15 FPS for 6K and if you want to record the video at 30 FPS you have to record it in 4K. Otherwise, you can record in unstitched mode, which records a video at a maximum resolution of 8K 24fps, but you will have to do the stitching in post-processing in the gallery. Basically, you just record the video, open the gallery in camera, select the video and start the stitching. The stitching of an unstitched video can be paused in any moment and you can restart it later. Of course, both photos and videos can be watched in gallery, on the camera, you can change the view mode, you can change some settings and eventually delete them. And that's all. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.